welcome back everybody. Um, getting some comments on the last review that I posted up yesterday. Um, some people with good reason are being skeptical about uh, the new MP40 quiet drive and the uh, old MP40 that I demonstrated. The old MP40 has some uh, uh, algae that's all growing all over it. Uh, one of the engineers over at Ecotech Marine said that the flow does not degrade on the MP40 if it's not clean. So feel free to test that out for yourself. I'm going to try and test it out tomorrow. I'm getting a loaner from my local fish store who liked the video too and he's gonna give me a new pump uh, it's actually the old model MP40 the one that's still on the shelves right now I'm gonna get a little microphone that will measure the decibels it should be arriving tomorrow so that we'll get a good accurate reading on a brand new MP40 and a one day old MP40 quiet drive Today, what we're going to do is we're going to do a amperage test between uh, the current drawing on the quiet drive, which is more efficient, but it does operate at a higher RPM. So I'm curious too to see what the results are going to be. This is the amp meter we're going to be using. It's a Fluke 33, 33 True RMS clamp meter. It's a little worn off, so I didn't know what it said there. Let's get to the uh, amperage or the, the current testing now, okay? Old MP40 running at 100%. And here we got the amp meter reading 0.58 amps. 0 0.57, 0.58, 0 0.57. Okay, let's see what the quiet drive is doing now. Quiet drive running at 100%. Interesting. Okay, well, this is actually drawing 0 0.66, 0 0.67 amps. So this is where we're gonna need to take into consideration that it is producing 40% more flow. So it is gonna be using more juice as I would have guessed, because at 100%, you're still getting 40% more flow. So let's try backing it off to, I'm gonna estimate 60%, which would be an approximation of, okay, if that's the halfway point, and we're getting 40% more flow. Okay, let's be generous. We'll go to this setting right here. So as you can see, this test is going to be subjective because you're not comparing apples and apples. You're getting an entirely new uh, top speed. So unless you were able to dial in the exact RPMs for the 100% on the old MP40 and the new one, you're not going to get probably a very accurate test. But I'm very satisfied to say that even at I'm guessing probably 70%, 75%. We're still more efficient with the quiet drive than the old MP40. So in summary, no surprises here. At 100%, the old MP40 is operating at about 0.56 amps according to my meter. The quiet drive at 100% is drawing more amperage at 0.67 amps. This shouldn't be surprising because you are actually getting 40% more flow. If you really wanted to match flow rates, I think we demonstrated today that the quiet drive is more efficient, flow for flow. I'd rather take the flow and have a little bit more current going and have it all in one pump. I'm guessing that you're gonna get more flow out of the quiet drive that might replace uh, a second power head even in your tank. Anyway, stay tuned for tomorrow. I'm hoping that we're actually gonna get to do a side-by-side -side comparison of a brand new MP40, old style, and the new quiet drive, which is now a day old, to and actually do some decibel metering. Stay tuned, guys. We'll catch you tomorrow. If this is your first time, 
checking out the channel. Why don't you check out the last review on the MP40 quiet drive that I did yesterday. Hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, get, leave me some feedback in the comments below, ask some questions about other things you want to know about the new MP40 quiet drive. Thanks for watching.